Hey, this is Chris from Stockspot. Now in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that's come up a few times in the comment section in our YouTube channel, which is, can you please compare the BGBL ETF, which is the BetaShares Global ETF, to VGS, which is the Vanguard Global ETF. Um, and actually, I'm gonna compare them both to another ETF that we use and recommend to our Stockspot clients, which is the iShares Global ETF, which is IOO. And I'm gonna compare them across a range of different metrics and explain which one I choose and, and why. So first of all, when it comes to fees, now the lowest fee of these options these days is actually the BetaShares option. Now these guys came out with this product pretty late into the market. And so I think as a strategy to try and win some market share, they've been very competitive on fees and come out with a fee of 0.08% per year or eight one hundredths of a percent. So if you are choosing entirely on fees, the BetaShares product wins out. Um, but then you look at size, for instance. Now, by far the biggest of these ETFs is the Vanguard ETF. It has about $7.5 billion under management. On the other hand, the BetaShares product is relatively small with only $800 million under management, and the iShares product fits in between the two. So the Vanguard one is the biggest and most stable of the ETFs. Um, then you can look at bid ask spreads, which is basically the cost you have to pay to buy and sell these instruments. And the lowest of these bid ask spreads is the Vanguard product, followed by the iShares product. And then the BetaShares product actually has the widest of the spreads. And so although it has lower fees, it has wider spreads. Then we look at track record. So only the iShares and Vanguard products have actually existed for five years. And actually they have quite a different return over that period. So the iShares product has returned about 15.9% per annum over the last five years, whereas the Vanguard product has only returned 12.7% per annum over the last 12 years. And we're talking here in May 2024, and these are the results to the end of April 2024. But that difference in return over five years actually becomes an overall difference in return of about 16% over five years. So by far the iShares IOO product has performed the best over that period of time. And also over a one year period, the iShares product has outperformed both the Vanguard product and the BetaShares product. Um, and then finally, the underlying holding. So interestingly, the Vanguard product and the BetaShares product both have similar underlying holdings. They both contain about 1,500 or so underlying global shares, you know, held in roughly the same proportions and they're very similar stocks. On the other hand, the iShares product just has the largest 100 global stocks. So you tend to be more focused on the big behemoth tech stocks and a lot more of those big US companies in the iShares product. And actually that's what's driven some of that outperformance over the last few years, because those large cap US shares have done much better than some of those mid cap shares and those other European shares that are a bit more focused within the beta shares and the Vanguard product. And so overall, look, these products are all pretty good products when you compare them to other active global investments and, and their performance has shown this. They all have slight advantages and disadvantages over each other, but I still like the IOO product and it's the one that we've recommended for Stockspot clients since we started over 10 years ago and it's still the one we recommend today. It gives a great balanced exposure to large global shares, the ones that have generated great long-term returns. And although its fees are a little bit higher, it has a huge asset base and a long track record. And for these reasons, we prefer the IOO product over the BGBL product, as well as the VGS product for global exposure. But honestly, you can't go too wrong with any of them. They're all pretty good long-term investing products.